Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and a lot of you are in the uh, in the dark as to how to enable Secure Boot or TPM, and you're wondering what exactly do you have to do. There are several ways to get into the firmware, the UEFI firmware of your computer. The first one is by the F keys on your keyboard. Depending on the manufacturer, F2, F12, F10, F1, it depends on the manufacturer really. Google your manufacturer and check out how it is. And my Asus computer, F2 works. And my mini PC, the B-Link mini PC, F2 also seem to work. Um, I've seen other computers that require you to actually press F10. Some are F12. One of these keys will bring you into the BIOS, into the UEFI setup and you'll be able to see in the security settings there the uh, secure boot that you can enable. Uh, you will also see somewhere over there a uh, TPM option, either called FTPM on Ryzen CPUs or uh, PTT on some Intel CPUs. Another thing that you can do to get there if you can't is to simply go into your settings in Windows go into update and security go into recovery here you will see advanced startup click restart now this will actually bring you into the advanced startup settings where you can go to um, safe mode and so on in this advanced startup setting you will go into the troubleshooting options there you will actually have the option to boot your pc into its uefi firmware so that's another way of going there. And of course, that's where all of the secure boot and of TPM settings are located. Unfortunately, what's sad with this is because each manufacturer uses a different way of doing it. There's no uh, one video that will show you where to go. It's almost, you know, manufacturer by manufacturer. And even with a manufacturer, if you take HP, you might have an HP that has one key and then an older HP that has another F key for the UEFI. It's one of those things that there's no really universal, this is how you go there uh, with some of the F keys. So you'll have to find your model in the manufacturer's website and there it's gonna actually explain to you what key to use and how to get to the UEFI firmware in your computer. And from there you can actually activate all of this in your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.